Right, Electric Adventures here. I've got my TRS-80 Color Computer Model 1 and needs a bit of work. Now, zooming in here, now illustrated by, see this key moves up and down, and see the S Enter key does not, and it's pressed down and stuck. Uh, this key works, looks like, no one looks like it's moving, but it's, it is down more than it should be. And also the shift key seems to be stuck down. Right, so first thing we need to do is get the machine open and see what we've got inside. Okay, the lid comes off without any wires attached to it, which is always nice. And here's the keyboard unit here. Be really careful, we've got a, um, a ribbon cable here. And lots and lots of little screws. So. Let's have a look. I'm not. And that'll make it easier to work on. I need to be very careful with this ribbon cable. Okay, but it's quite a nice laid out board. Very neat. No, not too many patches. There's a little one there. Quite interesting to see the inside of these old machines. Uh, a little bit of fluff and everything like that. I'll have to clean that up. Alright. I'll. Uh, pause for and take apart the keyboard. Right. All those screws are out. I didn't end up pulling out the ribbon cable because it's really firmly attached. I don't want to pull it too hard and rip it. Um, that's how many screws we ended up with. And let's take this back panel just comes off. So it's just a pressure plate. I'll clean the outside of that. Then we have the sensor mat. Okay, and, um, and here's our, our it's a mechanism underneath. So we've got, whoops, um, sorry to balance precariously. So we have all these pressure pads, uh, some have come off. There's one in every, um, one and then they push down so next thing is to it's fairly simple to put back in take all those off and do a bit of disassembly on um, this and see whether we can unstick it um, I mean it doesn't look anything too drastic we'll see how we go right, so the mechanism is quite simple um, so this is the enter key mechanism and this thing here was pushed down and, and off here, right? And in transport, this key's got pressed in and then got stuck. But other than that, it's fully moving, so as long as I put it back together and, um, you know, have this uh, wire back in the right spot and put it back together properly, I don't think we're going to have a problem, so... You know, they all sit in there, um, in there nicely. So, I just, I don't reckon this, uh, it was just jammed, jammed in. It probably, um, got squashed a little bit in transport, perhaps. All right, let's put it back together and right, see how we got go. it back together. <clears throat> Gave it a little bit of a clean. I mean, it's not super thorough. I might do that another day. Um, going through all the keys and giving a thing. The M key's just a little sticky. Uh, it does pop up now again, though. Do a little work, <coughs> so I'm having to move for a while, I reckon. Green key works, shift key works. So I've got full travel. It feels a little funny on that one, so if there's any problems, might just have to um, open it back up again. Might have one of the things might have come undone while I was doing it up. But that's really good. All right, we'll put it back together and fire it up. And okay, yes. I've got it hooked up. Um, using the cord from Atari Leaf, hooked up to the data cassette, and. Um, I'm sure we're going to be able to see that. And trying loading a, um, a game. It seems to be loading in parts. And it seems to be detecting what's on the tape and loading it. So, um, and I did a, um, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. And that seemed to work as well. So, all good. We'll just um, see if I can get some of these old tape games to load. And um, just do a quick play demo while we're at it.
Okay, so it's loaded and I've just um, typed list, so this is written in TSOD basic. So it's a card game. Nice and colourful. Sorry about the back line, folks. Not too bad, but it is getting we we'll go automatic play. Oops, yeah, slightly different graphics mode there. Not bad for a basic game, it's got you know some little bit of animation there and a few graphics and things like that. Um, our colour seems to be flashing, so our RF signal might be drifting a little bit there. So, all the auto fine tune. Almost reached the tally there, both sides there. Sort of like highest card wins. Randomness is making it pretty even. Oh, we're almost there. So you've got to keep winning to increase. And there we go. So there we go, that's not too bad for a demo. Can't break out of it because it's been turned off. Anyway, I hope that's um so Tira Stadium Colour Model 1 working fine. Loading from cassette fine. Uh, thank you, Atari Leaf, for the cord once again. Um, and um, another old retro computer working. Okay, thank you very much.